some pictures of Jamal Charlo going around. I don't know if it's photoshopped or not. Um, I put it on the screen. Obviously, it'd be on the thumbnail if I can't remember to put it on the screen. But he looked like he ain't nowhere near getting back to fighting. Um, I don't think we seen him. Seen we seen him at the Beeble fight. I mean, at the Beeble fight, Bulls the fight at the Stub Hub or whatever they call it, not a Dignity Health joint. He ain't look too out of shape. Uh, I forget who was fighting that night. And Beaver was there, and he he did an interview. It look, I mean, it's sometimes hard to tell in this picture. He looked, you know, I don't know if it's an older picture or if it was Photoshopped or whatever. But I ain't really never seen dogs this out of shape. And, you know, the relationship, you know, woman to do that to you. A lot of dudes will tell you, kind of act all hard and shit, man. A lot of these dudes got stories, man. And I ain't never scared to share the stories. And my embarrassment, you know, some niggas look at it as embarrassment, but once you open up, you know, a lot of people be like, well, this, that, and the third happened to me too, or this happened to me too. And um, dudes starting to talk, talk and starting to politic and, um, you know, starting to share their stories and shit. You know, and, you know, a lot of people, you know, I, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, I mean, when you got some time, like he got invested in the old girl since they was in high school and they got multiple kids, I mean, I mean of course you're going to be stressing about, you know, things that's a part of you or somebody that's been a part been with you for a long time so i mean at the end of the day man you know him looking in that picture he didn't look good i'm just gonna assume that hopefully it was photoshopped you know but i mean just like you know they tell you like you know guys you know you approach a woman you guys can't be scared to approach because rejection happens to all of us you know and, and that can happen to anybody bro no matter how how tight your game is how much you hound her, how much of a leash you give her or whatever, man, you know, you know, the, you know, some of the greatest, you know, dudes throughout, you know, history have been, have their biggest, you know, downfall and some of these niggas last downfall has, has been women. You know, women will take you with them, bro. And I mean, in the literal and a figurative speech, bro, they, they will take you with them. And they don't give a shit about what they doing until, you know, they calm down and see they fucked up. And then, you know, they always got the ability of support from other people. You know, you see a sad ass uh, man on the corner and a sad ass woman in the same predicament. Just one got titties and ass. People going to feel sorry for that woman before they feel sorry for that dude. And that's just the way it is. So, you know, his struggle. But at some point, he got to get back to him. You know, at some point, if it's getting away and, and trying to get joint custody, and sometimes your sanity has got to come at, you know, got to come with some prices to pay. You know, a lot of dudes just say, you know what, man, I'm tired of her calling the police on me and shit. I'm just moved. I pay child support and whatever, you know, you know, if I can't see him, I can't see him. I do say fuck it. A lot of people say, oh, damn, that's fucked up and shit. But you can't tell, you know, people what they pointed, what's their breaking point. And then you, you shame a nigga for doing that, and then he turn around and, and, and something happened, and then he end up in jail. And then, oh, nigga was stupid as shit. This is all I would have did, you know. So, like I said, his situation is serious, bro. Even if it ain't life or death to a lot of y'all, a lot of it is life or death, mental mental health. You know? But the thing is, you know, it's always a tomorrow. You know, if you live through it, it's always a light at the end of the tunnel. It got to be dark. It gotta, it's going to be it's gonna be daytime and it got to be nighttime. That's kind of helped me kind of think about, you know, just the struggle. Like, you know, when it's over with, you know, I should be stronger. But, you know, right now, I, I mean, it could be a bad picture. It could be an old picture. It could be Photoshop. Remember Cassie took that picture when they said he went from the hustler to the customer. And he took another picture and it just was a bad picture. I'm horrible at taking pictures. That's why I don't like taking them. People be like, oh, why you always dodging the camera? I'm just not a picture person. I ain't got shit to hide or I ain't been, you know, been selling dope or no shit like that or snitched on nobody. I ain't been part of that life, but that's just me. I, I'm not a guy who like taking pictures. Don't like it. You know, just don't never come out right. That's just me. So it could be, it could have been a bad picture for dog. You know, and everybody going to speculate and stuff. And, you know, it didn't look like, like I said, when I seen him, you know, earlier this year, he pulled up on Beeble. I think Mongee was there too. He didn't look, you know, he didn't look too out of shape there. You know, historically, the Toronto Twins don't get that out of shape, but stress, stress, you know, stress can make you lose weight. You can eat, you know, 
when they talk about the dopamine and all the just different imbalances that can be in your, you know, your chemicals can be off, can make you fiend shit and make, and that's, that's what brings people closure. See, a lot of times, you know, just in the liter figurative, but sometimes in a literal sense, you'll see like on a TV show or a cartoon where a woman will just get a whole fucking gallon of Hagen Dodge, that shit like a hundred dollars a gallon probably. You know, get a whole gallon of Hagen Dodge and shit and just eat it because she, you know, she mad, she, you know, she just broke up with a dude or she mad, she lost her job and something horrible happened and they just eating the whole thing of Hagen Dodge. You know, and a lot of, you know, holistic doctors and a lot of chemists well, you know, we kind of break that down. It was like, you know, it's just, you know, sometimes it's the parasites in your body. You know, sometimes your body just feeds sugar or something like that, you know, because your dopamine or whatever. Um, you know, just, you know, shit is crazy. You know, that's why they call it comfort food. You know? And that's when you got complete control. When you know your emotions off, you're stressed, and you still can stick you know, stick to, you know, and, and battle through without eating that bullshit, that's when you know you got complete control. But like I said before, man, um, at some point, it's got to, a move got to be made. At some point, he got to, he going to need a paycheck in his pocket. At some point, he probably going to need to train. At some point, he going to need to train um, just to get his mind away, bro. I know, you know, you have people who deal with, you know, life events that's that's hard. You know, for me personally, just sitting there, sometimes sitting there and clearing my mind and thinking about my no matter, no, matter, no matter what I do, if I'm budgeting my, my month, my month, whatever it is, or, I'm, you know, whatever. Or I got, you know, shit, I got a budget or I'm going through something. You know, so I sit there and try to figure it out, sleep on it, whatever. You know, you got your ups and your downs and shit. But I think too much is just having nothing to do on your mind. I think it's good for a lot of people to go do something, you know, even if something just, you know, you don't even like to do, it's good to go to work, you know what I'm saying, keep your mind off of it, and it just depends on the person, some people can shit focus, and they good, before you know it, you stop thinking about it, some people can't do that, some people will fuck with them, they can't go to work, they can't function, everything stop, everything, you know, but all I always say this, man, one thing about it, if you're breathing, you're not breathing, you sleep, no matter if you lose somebody, no matter if it's the best moment of your life, and you like will feel like time froze. Once, you know, time is never frozen for one person, bro. That shit going on with you or, or, or against you or without you, don't matter. Time is going to continue to tick on, and, and the shit that you're doing today, you will, you know, you get it out the way you do it. You will never get another opportunity, you know, sometimes. Just go for it, you know. So you need to get in the ring, you know, before his career be a thing in the past. And I think he was like 33 years old, Charlo's, pretty soon. And Al Heyman's inact, you know, his inactivity is hurting these dudes, bro. It really is. The inactivity these dudes are having under him are hurting them. They hurting them. You know, and a lot of times the people they was constantly they constantly had a a, a schedule, you know, um, and they constantly was able to be active. You know, probably this shit wouldn't even happen. And maybe if he wasn't training at the crib, you know, he would have had a better performance this last time out versus uh my man's. What's my man's name? I can't think of his name. Uh, Montiel. And you want to be there to help, you know, help with the kids and shit of that nature. But, you know, um, man, y'all, we can't be super, we can't be super thugs like Nori. You can't be super men. You can't, you know, focus on your career, you know, raise kids, pay all the bills and, and she there. You know, at some point, at some point, you know, at some point in a relationship, somebody got to pull the majority of the weight or some of the weight. That's the crazy thing about it. That's the crazy thing about it, man. At some point, you know, he, he probably just need, need, they just probably need the time apart. You know, but it looked like it's beyond repair. Um, I know a few people that, that went through the divorce, went through breakups. You can hear people, you can hear them or you can see them. You know it ain't right. But then again, you know, like I said, I never shift nobody. And, and you know, if they ask my opinion no more, I don't really never give it no more. I just, uh, you know, I support it.
Cause ain't no point. I'm not in your, it's easy for me to speak and I'm not in your shoes, bro. Easy. It's easy for people out here. Oh, that nigga weak over the chicken, this, that, and the third. And you know, some of you niggas crying, you know, when a hooker leave and go to the next John, y'all niggas crying. So I don't be believing what niggas say on face card value, bro. Cause I know we all, we all go through this shit, bro. You, be, you live long enough, we all go through it. No matter, you know, you know, we all go through it, dog. Once you sit down and pay attention and it be niggas like, man, marriage is beautiful and, and it's a good marriage and they smiling all the time and the bitch don't be happy. And she don't even want to be with you. And a lot of niggas don't even know it, bro. Cause a woman will put a face on as soon as you go handle your business, she sliding out the back door with another nigga. And a lot of, a lot of people don't know it happen. it's happening. And it's happening, bro. And you gotta, you gotta, I'm telling you, bro. Pick up your bitch phone. You know, especially if you don't, uh, what a Mayweather boxing gym right here. Hell yeah, it's a Mayweather boxing gym right here. Got me, I ain't even know what's sitting right here. I don't come this way this much. Yeah, we got a boxing, boxing sufficient gym, fixing gym right here. Bro, it's crazy. But yeah, man, a lot of y'all niggas be thinking, like, man, a bitch, man, they be putting a facade, man. These women are, are especially if you cheating, dude. When you doing your thing, she doing her thing. Tell you. And some of y'all niggas nice and all. That's why you see it's a nice contention or a nice amount of uh, men out here going to be passport bros. Them hoes gonna run the same game for a green card. Women are women no matter where you get them from. Especially if you, 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 you know, if you say, well, I'm allergic to, to hot shit, and they make the chicken, and it's just, you know, regular good chicken. But if you dip in a hot sauce, nigga, come on. It's, you know, same thing. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you come hot, that's all you're doing is, is taking a woman that might be, you know, if you're lucky, they might be naive, but they ain't. When you're putting her in the goddamn hot sauce of American culture. So no matter how you slice the cake, bro, you just got to play the game. You know, you got to expect the highs and lows. You got to expect, you know, you got to prepare for it, bro. Ain't none of the men, these mom, these women want to be just like niggas. Just remember that. These women want to be men. You know what I'm saying? And no matter if you, you, fun, you financing the life, y'all sharing it, whatever, you know, they want to be men at the end of the day. They want to think like men, be by men. They want the benefits of the man, but they don't want none of the kinds of being with it. That's why, you know, my man's saying you can be in love but never fall in love. That's why you hear niggas say love it with your cash, never love it with your heart. Get money back, nigga. Shit. But yeah, man, I, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel for him, bro. I really do. You know, but he, you know, he make it through this, he gonna come out a better dude. You hope. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but you hope, but, man, we, we have to wait and see, and see what, what all, what all go down, man, but right now, he don't look like, uh, he don't look like he, he, he physically in a good place to, uh, to, uh, to fight if that picture is accurate, so. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live. We drop video. Financially want to support the channel. Cash app. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo. CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love support. Peace.